So this is the first time I've hooked up my little uh, LM13700 synthesizer. Uh, it puts out a square wave and a triangle wave. And it's the first time that I've actually hooked it up to my actual analog synth. So right now, none of these modules over here are being used. Um, the pink wire is out to the synthesizer, uh, to the to the audio uh, audio interface, and I have the audio interface up there underneath the audio car. It's just a normal Motu ultralight. And uh, the wonderful thing about the Motu ultralight is it's coupled correctly so that I can put AC and DC signals into it and they'll spit out on Ableton. So I have uh, no problem there. I just have a um, chorus and a reverb set up. Um, it's just a mono signal. Uh, so this is just kind of fucking around, playing around. Uh, let's see, it has the square wave hooked up to hard sync on the blue lantern and I have the triangle wave hooked up to uh, the full range uh, pitch control and then I have let's see this thing set to some specific amount I don't know what speed it's playing I guess I could play it later after this but it's kind of touchy right now because this thing is very it doesn't have a fine tune yet only this knob does anything. This, I'm going to hook this up as a fine tune later. This also doesn't have any CV in, which I'm working on. But, anyways, so if I turn the normal pitch here, then I can rotate through. And since the hard sync is on, and the hard sync has done some very interesting things, as well as the voltage uh, for the pitch is also doing some very interesting things. And I'll play each one of those separately for you, but for right now, this is kind of a fun effect. In the triangle wave, I just switched between the uh, square wave and the sawtooth. This is just this is generally a more mellow sound. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I'm gonna take the hard sink out. That's why people like these analogs. Do all sorts of weird spacey stuff. Just the pulse width modulation, the square wave. Let's pull this back in. The hard sync is back in, and now you can see why I didn't want to touch the knobs too much earlier. If I have just hard sync in, then I can play with the uh, 
pitch over here, and I can get some interesting effects, but it's kind of touchy. <laughs> Record on that shit. of modulation into the sign uh, the, the sawtooth into this multiple and see what happens. I haven't tried this yet, so this might fry something. So that's just a multiply. It just takes the uh, sawtooth wave, uh, sorry, the square, uh, the um, uh, uh, triangle wave, throws into the multiply. Now I have two of these that I can, or three of these that I can use. Um, so this one's just going back into the pitch. I'm going to take another one. Let's see what happens when I plug it into the uh, pulse with modulate. That's still on square. If I put it on uh, sawtooth. Well, the other thing is that I can take this, the output of this board the blue lantern and throw it into this blast it mini wave and then have the output oh, where's the output it's already hooked up let's do this plug it into the output it doesn't do anything right now because it doesn't have any tracking signal so I need to have a tracking signal go into it and I can have the tracking signal come directly from the tr uh, sawtooth wave over here and now I can do all those same pitch adjustments but then also have it do a wave table lookup.
disconnect all of this and just have it go straight as it can. And then take the triangle way that we've got over here, plug it into the selector for this thing. So now this board over here is controlling which of the samples have selected in the blast hit mini wave. So if I change this pitch, it's not going to do much. If I change which sample it's looking up from. I can't get a fine control on this thing yet. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to tune in to exact things, but if I wanted to, then I could slowly build this thing up and have it change tempo with an arpeggiator and have everything sync to a single LFO and then all sorts of fun breaks out. So that's kind of why I've gotten into this stuff, um, mostly because it's fun to do electronics as well as do all the sound engineering and the fun of patching all these things together. And this is just with two voltage controlled oscillators and an interesting wavetable lookup oscillator, um, the Blasset. And uh, this is actually a custom board, good luck finding one of these. But uh, yeah, so that's that.